Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is Sandy from Sand Tutorials Desk and today I'll be doing a quick comparison of my new Wuju Leather planners against Plotter. Now Plotter, I've owned the Lishio one for almost two months now so you can see that there's a lot of wear and tear. Both of these Wuju Studio covers are still fairly new to my collection but I've used it I think just under a month. It doesn't leave my house as much as this one did um, but I thought it was a good time just to show you a few of the differences just so you know um, what you're getting into if you're looking at Wuju Studio as an alternative to Plotter. So I got two covers. I got the personal slash A6 size but this is the, the personal A6 so the pages here are more rectangular they're 3.75 by 6.75 inches. I purchased this one in their Minerva leather, and this is the gray color. This honestly looks a little bit more olive than gray, and the inside is a smooth brown. And then for the pocket, I got the Pueblo leather. This is in the color yellow brown. Just to help with the comparisons, I'm going to empty out both of these planners so we can get a better look at them. Let's start off with the pocket size. This Pueblo leather is a brushed leather and this is one of the options that Plotter provides in their lineup of leathers. This is embossed in the back with the Wuju kind of embossing and there is kind of the back side of the embossing in here but other than that all you get is just a simple leather cover. These came with gold rings and they are Krauss rings. Comparing this against the Plotter Planner, it's weird because both of them list very similar sizes online in terms of the dimensions for their Pocket A7 Mini 6 size planner. Let's see, I have the exact dimensions here. But online, Wuju Leather says it's 4 inches by 5.6, and then the Plotter one says it's 3.9 by 5.5. But what I found was a little bit confusing, I guess, is that if you actually had them next to each other and you compared it, it is a size difference. The Wuju leather, it's hard to see. Um, the Wuju leather one is actually just slightly narrower than Plotter by maybe about a centimeter when I have them open flat. It doesn't make that big of a difference to be honest, um, but I do think looks wise, it looks more rectangular on the Wuju leather one compared to the plotter. So that might be something to keep in mind. I It's hard to measure their clothes dimensions, but neither of them really reach the, um, I think four inch kind of width, which was kind of confusing. Oops, <laughs> trying to grab a ruler. So this, okay, no, Plotter does reach four inches, but it was supposed to be 3.9. And then if I measured the Wuju leather, I'm short of four inches. So I thought that was an interesting comparison between the two. Other than that, they're largely the same. They're just a leather cover. The Plotter cover I have is the Lishio leather, so it does come with rose gold rings, but they do make it in a uh, brush leather material. It's just not my preference necessarily. And now to compare the larger sizes, this is the fifth anniversary edition of the Plotter. So it's um, a special color, I believe. It's still like an olive leather, but it is embossed but it's pretty simple. Like I said, the plotter doesn't come with any of these like stickers. Um, so you really just get the cover, 
same thing for the Wuju leather one, you just get the cover. There's nothing too spectacular here. I do think this Minerva leather is a little bit more similar to the Lishio leather, except the one that I got, and I don't know if all planners or all of her pieces are like this. This one's quite pebbled, so if you do like a pebbled texture, this could be a good option to look at. Here is what the kind of hardware looks like. The odd thing with this was that the rings did not have Krauss stamped on it. Um, honestly, I don't mind. I don't care really for like name brand rings, but it was just something interesting to note because I saw a few pictures that did have Krauss rings, so it might just be like a stock issue. And then in terms of the embossing, this one's only on the inside cover and there's nothing on the outside. Overall, these covers are fairly similar. They're simple, minimal pieces of leather with 11 millimeter rings, kind of minimal hardware on the outside, very minimal branding. The aesthetic is very similar. So I do think there is some inspiration taken from Wuju Leather from Plotter. Plotter has been around since 2017. And the earliest mention I could find of this Wuju Leather planner was like mid 2020. Um, so if that matters to you, that might be something to take into consideration. But I do think the overall value of this is amazing. Plotter, I have to purchase from Plotter USA and I live in Canada. So I have to pay for the shipping as well as the duties into my country. So it does get quite expensive when I invest in a plotter planner compared to these Wuju leather planners. Just for a quick price comparison, I have my little paper here. Um, the Pueblo leather cover from Wuju leather, if you get this mini size, at the time of this video at least, this is 86, 86 US dollars. The personal size of this leather would be 90. And then A5 is 150, and that's all with free shipping. If you compare it to the Plotter Pueblo leather, so the same leather, not the planner leathers that I have here, those would also come with gold Krauss rings, but same kind of brushed leather covers. This will run you 132 for the smallest, um, so like over $50 more than this. For the medium size or the personal, it's 168 and for A5, it's 230 And then for the Minerva size, I'll have all of this listed in the description box, so don't worry about this. Um, the Minerva size, they don't have the A7 or pocket size listed for some reason. I don't know if they just don't make it, but the A6 personal size that I have over here, A6, this was $90, and then the A5 size is $170. And then the closest leather, because Plotter doesn't really have anything exactly the same, is the Lishio, which is the one that I have. And this, for the small one, was $140, uh, 145 The personal was 182 so like $90 more <laughs> than this. And then the A5 would run you 242 plus I was charged about $24 for shipping and then my duties was roughly $30. So you can see how this can get a little bit pricey. And this I honestly think gets the job done. Um, my only gripe is that I don't think I like Pueblo leather. This brush leather is not necessarily a texture I like. It's a little bit more suede-like and I prefer kind of smoother Italian leathers. If you're worried about leather quality, I do just want to show you a little bit of the packaging. So I have boxes for the, I guess I should put it this way, the plotter cover. This one's from the fifth anniversary one so it might look a little bit different. And then this is the Wuju leather uh, personal size box. Both of these, if I open them up, these are both really sturdy boxes. They come with a dust bag 
I do prefer the Wuxu leather one. It's like super soft. But the main thing is that they both come from the same tannery or the, they have the same certification from my understanding at least. Um, certain planner companies like Gilio will also include these cards to just show you the certification of your leather covers. I don't know the specifics about these, but I just want to show you that the leather quality is on par. They're amazing. It really depends on your style. So I don't like the Pueblo leather personally, but that doesn't mean the quality of the leather isn't there. Other things you get in the Wuju leather one or leather box that I thought was special was the swatch card. And this just gave me a feel of a few different colors of leather so I could see them in person. To really summarize my rambles, I think these planners are a really great value. They give the kind of minimal, compact aesthetic that I think I am looking for at the moment. It's just that the Pueblo leather is not my favorite. But this Minerva, if they made it in a pocket size, I would grab it. It's amazing. And I highly recommend these if you're looking for a cheaper alternative to plotter planners, especially if you're going to be hit with high duties and shipping fees with plotter planners, because um, these really are like top-notch, great quality. If you've tried Wuju Studio, let me know your thoughts. And if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments as well. Thanks for watching. Bye!